As Tevetta fell to the Germans, Lieutenant Colonel Ward was deploying various forces to reinforce Maktau, Voi, and Bura to protect the Ugandan railroad that traversed British East Africa. The railroad was vital for all things travel, supply, and defense of the British colony. If something were to happen to this railroad, huge swathes of the colony would be cut off from this lifeline. In effect, the British would be isolated until railroad engineers could be informed, gathered, and then painstakingly repair the railroad. Vorbeck ordered both on the 7th of August and on the 20th of August by telegraph the commanding officers von Prinz and later Schultz at Moshi not to conduct guerrilla warfare, but rather to scout the British area for further invasion. Only after the war does Vorbeck claim this was part of his famed guerrilla war strategy, but at this point he was having difficulty even communicating with the Germans occupying Taveda. While he chalks it up to white termite ants, and while this did occur, it had more to do with the local field commanders consolidating their new captured positions before trekking further into the African bush without a plan. Despite reissuing these orders on the 20th of August, the first parties were still days away from deployment. One such party was under the command of Oberleutnant von Busey. After reaching the British rail station at Marengu, von Busey found the station undefended, but rather than sending a runner back or cut the telegraph line, von Busey simply set off to wander the rail line while the telegraph line was still intact. The British locals were quick to react, reporting the Germans. On the 24th of August, 1914, a detachment from B Company 3rd King's African Rifles was sent from Voy to Marengu Station in a makeshift armored train. Finding the town unmolested, the detachment kept the cover along the railroad. It was on the morning of the 25th of August that British detachment found the German party. Without camp guards, camping in the open, and still asleep late in the morning, the Germans were caught unprepared. Without fighting and without loss of life, the detachment surrounded the Germans and captured the party. Von Busey claimed he had been looking for a culvern to damage the Uganda Railroad. The capture of the German party saved the British colony from being damaged. The whole event further paints the stumbling nature of the German advance into British East Africa. While the British were able to quickly react and deal with the threat professionally, 